Hi everyone! Today we're going to be doing a 60 minute power vinyasa flow, so really similar to my usual vinyasa practice. This one will just build a little bit more heat, a little bit more sweat, um, we'll be taking some transitions that are a little bit more difficult um, and we'll be building up to side pro as our peak posture. So if you're new to my class style, I like to think of it as following the bell curve. So we start closer to the ground, we start really slow, we build up into some one breath, one movement flows. We hit our peak posture, uh, which today is side pro, and then we'll begin to work our way back down to the ground, slowing down, warming down, and then going into a nice long shavasana. So with that, we'll get started. Just coming into a comfortable seat, then closing down your eyes, letting your hands rest in your lap or on your thighs or on your knees. Broadening across your collarbones and then imagining one line of energy coming up through the ground, through your tailbone, up through your spine, your neck, and then out through the crown of your head. So we're sitting up nice and straight here, but it's still comfortable. And then just tuning into your breath. I'm going to start here with one really deep inhale through the nose. And open the mouth and sigh it out. One more like that. Inhale through the nose. Then opening the mouth and sighing it out. Now we're going to do that same breathing, but we're going to close the mouth. So we're creating that slight constriction in the back of the throat. Almost like you're fogging up a glass window, but you're letting the air out through the nose. And this is what we call our ujjayi breath. And we're going to do that to the count of four. So inhaling through the nose. Two. Three. Four. And exhaling through the nose. Two, three, four. Inhaling. Two, three, four. And exhaling. Two, three, four. And just keep breathing like that. Deep breaths in through the nose. And out through the nose. Really creating that constriction in the back of the throat. Just keeping the breathing going, gently blink your eyes open. We're going to roll through straight into a wide legged like child's pose here. So keeping the toes together, the knees wide, sinking the hips back towards the feet, then walking the hands forward, bringing the forehead down onto the ground. You're almost imagining that your armpits are sinking down into the ground. Gonna walk the hands over to the right hand side of the mat, bringing the left hand on top of the right hand for a deep side stretch here. And imagine you're sinking your left hip down into your left ankle. And walking back through center, walking your hands over towards the left, bringing your right hand on top of the left hand, feeling the stretch of the right hand side of your body. Feeling that right hip sink down into your right ankle. Walking your hands back through center and making your way to tabletop pose. Hands are stacked under shoulders, knees are stacked under hips. We're gonna take some cat cows here. So on the inhale, you're gonna arch the spine, looking up. And then exhale, round the spine, pushing the ground away, chin to chest our cat pose. Inhale, arch the spine, looking up, cow pose. And exhale, round the spine, pushing the ground away, chin to chest. And just take a couple more like this at your own breath. So arching on the inhale and rounding on the exhale. And then when you're ready, we're just going to make our way back through tabletop. So neutral spine here. We're going to flip our hands around, so the palms are still facing down, but the fingertips are facing our knees. And we're just going to take some gentle hip circles here. And if you find this quite difficult um, and your wrists are quite tight, you can just do this with one hand at a time. 
So just taking a few hip circles with one hand flip and then changing hands. And then once you've gone in one direction, making sure that you're going back in the other direction. And then bringing those circles to a stop and then flipping your hands back around. We're gonna ground down through our left hand and both of our knees and shins. So we're gonna reach the right arm long out in front of us. And then we're gonna ground down through that right knee, lifting the left leg off the ground and reaching it back behind us. So on the inhale, we're gonna lengthen. And on the exhale, we're gonna curl, bringing the elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, curl, exhale, curl elbow to knee. One more, inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, curl, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. And then bring that hand and knee down towards the ground. So grounding down through the right hand now, reaching the left hand out long. And then we're grounding down to that left knee, reaching the right leg out and long. On the inhale, we're gonna lengthen. On the exhale, we're gonna bring it knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, coming back down into your neutral tabletop here. Make sure the hands are shoulder width apart. The pointer fingers are facing forward. We're gonna tuck the toes under and then reach the hips up and back for downward facing dogs. Have a look at your heels. And if you can see them, I want you to think about wrapping your inner thighs towards one another. And that'll help your heels disappear out behind your feet so you can't see them. And then maybe you'll walk your dog bending through one knee and then the other, really releasing through the calves and the hamstrings here. And then just finding stillness, sinking the heels down towards the ground. We're gonna inhale forward to plank, top of a push-up. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward plank, top of a push-up. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. One more, warming up the shoulders here. Inhale, forward plank, top of a push-up. Then exhale back, downward facing dog. We're gonna inhale forward to plank. We're gonna lower the knees down, and then we're gonna lower the chest all the way down to the ground. Bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, planting the tops of the feet down into the ground. And then we're just gonna roll up into baby cobra here, lifting the chest and head off the ground. Then exhale, lowering down. Inhale, baby cobra, drawing our shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower down. One more like that. Inhale, lifting up. Then exhale, lowering down. Making sure the hands are under the shoulders. We're gonna tuck the toes under. Then we're gonna make our way straight back to plank. Then exhale back, downward facing dog. Just gently walking your feet up to meet your hands at the top of your mat, keeping your feet hip distance apart, and then just releasing your head and your neck, taking your hands around opposite elbows, and just swaying from side to side here in ragdoll. Maybe shaking your head yes, or shaking your head no. Just releasing through the neck. And then releasing the hands down to the ground and rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up to standing into your Tadasana. Bring your toes to touch, keeping your heels about um, an inch apart, letting your hands rest by your sides. We're in Tadasana here, mountain pose. We're gonna go through three Suri Namaskar A's. So the first one's gonna be modified on our knees and then from there we'll take the full version. Inhale, reaching up to the sky, Hands together above the head. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, planting your hands down, stepping back to plank pose. Inhale, shift the weight forward, lower the knees down, then lowering all the way down to the ground on the exhale. Inhale, coming up to cobra pose, drawing those shoulder blades together. Then exhale, lowering back down to the mat. Inhale, tuck the toes under, make your way back to plank. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. For three breaths here. Two more. Last breath. Now at the end of your exhale, we're gonna hop, step or jump 
to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky, hands together above your head. And exhale, hands together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach up, look up. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, plank your hands down, stepping back to plank pose. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower down, halfway, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Then exhale back, downward facing dog for three breaths. And always remember that you don't have to take the full chaturanga. You can always take the knees and chest down to the ground version with a baby cobra. Just doing whatever's right for your body. One more breath here. And on the exhale, hop, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up all the way up to the sky. And exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, stepping back to plank pose. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, lower down, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale back, downward facing dog for three breaths. Two more. Last breath here. And on your exhale, I'm just going to step all the way down on to your seat. We're going to do a little bit of core work here. So if you don't want to do core work, feel free to just take child pose or shavasana. For those of you that want to do core, we're going to start here in navasana or boat pose. So you can choose to have your hands here behind your thighs for a little bit of support. You can release your hands, but just know that if you're releasing your hands, making sure you're still long and straight up through that spine. So release your hands or you can straighten your legs. But I recommend staying right here because we have a little bit of core work to do. Just taking a few breaths here. One more. Bring the hands together in front of the heart in prayer position. And we're just going to twist to the right and then to the left. Twisting right and then left. We have eight more. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the heels down to the ground, coming down onto your back. We're going to stack the knees over the hips for the tabletop here. We're going to interlace the hands behind the back. We're just going to draw the knees towards the elbow, curling up through the spine, bringing the knees towards the elbows, and then lengthen the legs out long. Inhale, drawing the knees to the elbows. And then exhale, lengthen, legs out long. Inhale, drawing knees. Exhale, lengthen. And if you want to make this a little bit more difficult, you can extend the hands when you extend the legs. So curling in and extending. Curling in and extending. We have eight more here. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, last one. Drawing everything in, give yourself a little hug. We're not quite done yet, but just take a moment here to rest through your core. We're gonna interlace the hands behind the back, stacking those knees over the hips. And we're gonna do bicycles here. So to start off with, we're just gonna twist the left elbow towards the right knee, and then back to your center, right elbow, left knee, back through center. Now, if you want to extend opposite leg, you can. So if you're twisting left, you're extending the right leg. Twisting right, extending the left leg. Keeping it nice and slow and controlled here, making sure you're pausing in the center. We have four more, three more, two more, last one. Then giving yourself a big hug, Rocking side to side and just rocking your way back to plank pose. And then lowering down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
Now just take a moment here in Upward Facing Dog to stretch out through that core. Maybe you look over your right shoulder, then over your left shoulder. And then when you're ready, rolling over those toes and making your way back to Downward Facing Dog. Now again, inhale the right leg up and back. And exhale, step it between the hands for runner's lunge here. Making sure you're grounding down through the ball of that back foot and activating through that back quad. Then on the inhale, we're making our way up into a high lunge. So the front knee stacks over that front ankle. Back leg is long, activating through that back quad. Arms are reaching high, but just making sure you're not um, shrugging the shoulders up to the ears, just releasing the shoulders down the back. And then sinking a little deeper on the exhale. Now, on your next inhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart into prayer position. And on the exhale, we're twisting to the right, hooking that left tricep over the right thigh for twisted high lunge. Making sure you're still activated through that back leg, lengthening through the spine, out through the crown of the head. And then inhale, make your way back up to crescent lunge, keeping that bend in the front knee. And then exhale, opening up warrior two. So the back leg is parallel with the back of the mat. We're sinking into that front knee, so it's stacked over that front ankle. The arms are reaching long out in front of you and behind you. Really, really activating through the outside of that back foot, grounding down. And then when you're ready, we're gonna flip the front palm and straighten the front leg and take a reverse triangle here. Really feeling that side body stretch of the right hand side. And then when you're ready, just cartwheeling the hands down to frame the front foot. So we're back in our runner's lunge here. Ground down through that left hand and then open that right arm up to the sky for easy twist. Now a little bit of a tricky transition here, but we're going to roll on to the outer edge of that back foot. And then we're going to step that front foot to meet the back foot. So we're in a side plank here, um, right arm reaching high to the sky. And you can always come down to that left knee if this is more available for you. One more breath here. And on the exhale, bring that right hand down and making your way straight through plank pose. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhaling the left leg up to the sky. And exhale, stepping it between the hands for runner's lunge here. And once you're ground down through that back foot, that back leg is activated, we're gonna inhale up into our high lunge, our crescent lunge here. So same cues as the other side, really activating through that back quad, sinking that front knee over the front ankle. Arms are reaching long to the sky. On your next inhale, bringing hands together in front of your heart. And on the exhale, we're twisting to the left, hooking that right tricep over the left thigh. One more breath here. Then inhaling, making your way back up to high lunge. And on the exhale, we're opening up into warrior two on the other side. So back foot is parallel with the back of the mat. Front knee stacked over front ankle. Arms are reaching out long in front and behind you. Then on your next inhale, flip that front palm, straighten that front leg and reverse triangle here. Feeling the stretch up the left hand side of your body. And then Cartwheeling your hands down to frame that front foot for runner's lunge. Grounding down through that right hand and take the left arm high to the sky for easy twist. I'm gonna roll onto the outer edge of that back foot and step the front foot to meet that back foot for side plank here. And once again, you can always come down onto that right knee if this is more available for you. We have one more breath here. And then on your exhale, bring that left hand down for plank 
in going through your chaturanga. Inhale, outward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Now we're gonna go through that flow one breath, one movement. So it's gonna feel a little quick, but by the second time, your body should know what's coming next. So just go with it and see what, what your body does and what your body feels like. On your next inhale, taking that right leg high to the sky. And on the exhale, stepping it between the hands for one is lunge. Inhale, coming up into your high lunge. And on the exhale, twisting to the right for twisted high lunge. Inhale, coming back through your high lunge, arms high. Then exhale, opening up warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, straighten that front leg, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, cartwheel the hands down, runner's lunge. Inhale, right arm to the sky, easy twist. And on the exhale, rolling on to that back, outside of that back foot. Inhale, step the right foot back, side plank. And then exhale, straight through your chaturanga, lowering down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhaling the left leg up and back. And then exhale, stepping it between the hands, runner's lunge. Inhale, coming up into your high lunge, crescent lunge, arms high. Then exhale, twisting to the left, right tricep over the left thigh. Inhale, coming back through your high lunge. And then exhale, opening up, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, reverse triangle, straighten that front leg. Then exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the front foot, runner's lunge. Inhale, easy twist, left arm to the sky. Then exhale, rolling onto the outer edge of that right foot. Inhale, stepping that left foot back to meet the right side plank here. Then exhale, coming through your chaturanga, lowering down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Last time here. Inhale, right leg up and back. And exhale, step between your hands, runner's lunge. Inhale, sweeping the arms high to the sky. High lunge. Then exhale, twisting to the right. Twisted high lunge. Inhale, arms high to the sky. High lunge. Then exhale, opening up warrior two, arms reaching long. Inhale, flip the front palm, straighten that leg, reverse triangle. And then exhale, cartwheeling your hands down, runner's lunge. Inhale, easy twist, right arm to the sky. Then exhale, rolling onto the outer edge of that back foot. Inhale, stepping the right foot back for side plank. Then exhale, coming through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Last side hit. Inhale, left leg up and back. Then exhale, step that left hand through for runner's lunge. Inhale, coming up, crescent lunge or a high lunge. Then exhale, twisting to the left, right tricep over left thigh. Inhale, coming up. Crescent lunge. The next hole opening up, warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, straighten that front leg, reverse triangle. The next hole, cartwheel the hands down, framing the front foot, runner's lunge. Inhale, easy twist, left arm to the sky. And exhale, rolling onto the outer edge of that back foot. Inhale, left foot steps back to meet, right side plank here. The next hole, lowering down, chaturanga halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Just walk your hands back to meet your feet here. Take your peace fingers around your big toes. And just fold, bending through those knees, releasing through the neck. Using your grip on your big toes to really pull your head and chest down towards the ground. And just using this as a chance to get your breath back and steady. And then releasing your toes, walking your hands back out into your downward facing dog. We're gonna inhale the right leg up and back and exhale, step it between the hands. We're gonna spin the back heel down so it's at 45 degrees and maybe walk that right foot out just a little bit to the right to widen your stance. And then once you've grounded down through that back foot and through the ball of your front foot, I want you to inhale up into a warrior one here. So the difference with warrior one, 
compared to Warrior 2 is mainly in the hips. So your hips are facing forward towards the front of your mat rather than open to the side. So arms are long, high to the sky, bending through that front knee, hips are facing forward, really grounding down to the outer edge of that, that back foot. Now we're going to interlace the hands behind the back. Roll the shoulder blades together. Inhale, open the chest and heart, expanding it to the sky. And then folding into humble warrior. So folding over that front bent knee, releasing the neck and head towards the ground. And just taking a couple of breaths here. If you find yourself losing your balance, you can always release your hands down towards the ground. And then releasing the hands down towards the ground. We're going to straighten that front leg, lengthen through the spine. Then exhale, fold over that leg for pyramid pose. One more breath here. And just bending through that front knee and stepping the back foot up to meet the front foot with the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, planting your hands down, stepping back to plank. Inhale, shifting the weight forward. Exhale, lower down, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg up and back. And exhale, step it between the hands, grounding down through that back foot so it's at 45 degrees. Maybe taking that left foot to the left a bit, a little bit to widen your stance. Then when you're ready, coming up into your warrior one on the other side. So, Rotating those hips forward, sinking into that front knee to stack it over that front ankle, grinding down through the outer edge of that back foot. Then releasing your hands behind your back, interlacing them, rolling the shoulder blades together, expanding the heart and chest up towards the sky, then folding into humble warrior over that front bent knee, releasing the head and neck towards the ground. Once again, here you can always release those hands to the ground if you're finding it hard to maintain your balance. Then releasing the hands, we're going to lengthen through the spine, straighten that front leg, and then fold over that straight leg for pyramid pose. I'm going to bend through that front knee. Set the back foot up to meet the front foot. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back through plank. Lowering down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, back, downward facing dog. Now once again, we're going to flow through that flow. One breath, one movement. So it'll feel quick, especially the first time through. But by the second time through, you'll have a little bit more of a hang of when, when, you, uh, when you move postures. So let's begin. Inhale the right leg up and back. And exhale, step it between your hands, grounding down through that back foot. Inhale, coming up through warrior one. Then exhale, release the hands, interlacing them behind your back. Inhale, expand that heart and chest up towards the sky. Then exhale, forward fold, humble warrior. Inhale, release the hands and straighten that front leg. Then exhale, fold, pyramid pose. Inhale, bend through that front knee. And exhale, step your left foot up to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, step or jump back through Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back, downward facing dog. Inhaling the left leg up and back. And exhale, step it between your hands, grounding down through that back foot. Inhale, coming up. Warrior one. And then exhale, interlacing the hands behind your back. Inhale, expanding the heart and chest towards the sky. Then exhale, forward fold, humble warrior. Inhale, release the hands, straighten that front leg. Then exhale, fold, pyramid pose. Inhale, bending through the front knee. Then exhale, step the right foot up to meet the left at the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step for jumping back through Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back, downward facing dog. One more time here. Inhale, right leg up and back. 
And exhale, step up between the hands, grounding down through that back foot. Inhale, coming up, warrior one. Exhale, release the hands behind your back and interlace them. Inhale, expanding the chest and heart through the sky. Then exhale, forward fold, humble warrior. Inhale, release the hands to the ground, straighten that front leg. And exhale, full pyramid pose. Inhale, bending through the front knee. And exhale, stepping the back foot to meet the front foot forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step or jump back through Chaturanga Nadasana, lowering down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back downward facing dog. Last side here. Inhale, left leg up and back. And exhale, step it between your hands, grounding down through that back foot. Inhale, coming up through warrior one. And then exhale, releasing the hands down towards your back and interlace them. Inhale, expand the heart and chest towards the sky. Then exhale, fold, humble warrior. Inhale, release the hands, straighten that front leg. Then exhale, fold, pyramid pose. Inhale, bend through the front knee. And exhale, step the back foot to meet, front foot forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, step or jump back through. Chaturanga Nanasana, lowering down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, back, downward facing dog. Just walking your hands back to meet your feet here. This time I want you to take your hands underneath your feet for gorilla pose, bringing your toes up into your wrist creases. And just rocking your weight forward and back so you can really give your wrists a little bit of a massage here. Shaking your head, no, to release through the neck. And then gently releasing your hands from your feet. And then coming into the middle of your mat here. So we're gonna play with side crow. So we've done a bit of twisting to warm up. To start in side crow, we're going to come into our chair pose. So we're going to sink the hips down and back, taking the arms high to the sky. And have a look down, make sure you can still see your toes. If not, shift your hips back a little bit. On your inhale, bring your hands together in front of your heart. And on the exhale, we're twisting to the right, hooking that left tricep over the right knee, expanding the heart and chest towards the right hand side. Now we're going to look back through center. We're going to sink our hips down towards the ground, coming up onto the balls of our feet. So our heels are lifted. We're going to twist even more to the left. Then we're gonna plant our hands down. So they are, if you're doing this facing the top of your mat, your hands will be parallel to the top of the mat. If you're doing it facing the side of your mat, your hands are parallel to the side of your mat. So a lot of people here in their side crew like to bring their hands parallel with their legs. But that'll actually make it more difficult for you. In true side crow, you're only balancing on one arm. So we're bringing the hands down parallel to the, to the mat, whichever way you're facing. You're going to lean into those hands and you're gonna to begin to bend your elbows. You're really engaging the left tricep into the right outer thigh. So creating like a, quite a lock here, really squeezing them into each other. Bending through those elbows, those hands, grounding down through the hands twisting the right tricep, the left tricep into the right thigh, and then lifting those feet and legs off the ground for your side curve here. So you can see here that my hands are at 90 degrees, my arms. So I'm really creating what I like to call chaturanga arms. So you're creating a shelf here, and it's this shelf that allows your hand, your legs to balance on. So we're gonna do that on the other side, or we can feel free to pause this video and Try, try again. Just coming into a forward fold here. And sweeping your arms up and back for chair pose. Four. Sinking the hips down and back. Making sure you can see your toes. Inhale, hands together in front of your heart. And on the exhale, twisting to the left, hooking the right tricep over the left thigh. Expanding the heart and chest towards the left. And then we're going to sink the hips down to the ground, lifting the heels off the ground. We're going to plant the hands down to the parallel with the mat. So you can see that my knees and legs are here are twisted towards the right, but I'm planting my hands down parallel with the top of the mat. I'm really squeezing 
this left outer thigh into my right tricep. So I'm like squeezing them against each other, grounding down through those hands. We're gonna bend through the elbows, creating a 90 degree angle. So we create a shelf and then the legs and feet lift off the ground. And then coming back down here. So, so you can keep playing with that. For the rest of you, we're gonna come straight into our malasana here. And just closing down into the eye, closing down through the eyes. And the hands together in front of your heart. And then just straightening the legs, bring the hands down towards the ground into a little forward fold here, maybe shaking everything out. And then wherever you are, just making your way back to downward facing dog. And inhale forward to plank pose and exhale lowering all the way down onto our bellies here. We're gonna do a couple of little heart openers here. So we're gonna reach the hands behind the back, interlace the hands. We're gonna zip the legs up so the inner thighs are touching, the feet are touching. Exhale all the air up. And on the inhale, lifting the chest and the head and the legs off the ground, reaching those hands back towards the feet, rolling those shoulder blades together. Coming up a little higher on your next inhale. Stay for the exhale, one more, a little higher on the inhale. And exhale, coming down, bringing that right ear down to the mat, releasing the hands by your side. And coming back through center, zipping those legs up together, interlacing the hands behind your back, exhale all the air out, and on the inhale, lifting up into Shalabhasana, drawing the shoulder blades together, bring the chest off the ground, now you can choose to stay here if you want to go a little bit deeper into Dhanurasana. Release your hands, reach them back for your ankles, then kicking your hands into your feet for bow pose here. So your knees should stay about hip distance apart. Try not to let them splay too wide. Inhale, kick a little harder. Then exhale, lowering down opposite ear to the mat, releasing the hands by your sides. Maybe this time bending through the knees and just windscreen wiping the feet from side to side. Then releasing them down to the mat, bringing your chin back to center, bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes under and pushing up and back into downward facing dog. Now we're gonna inhale the right leg up and back here and exhale, step it between the hands. Then we're going to pivot to our wide-legged forward fold here. So our feet are slightly pigeon-toed. So the feet are almost parallel, but the toes are pointing a little bit in. And you can choose to take your feet um, as wide as comfortable as, uh, as wide as comfortable for you. We're going to place the left hand down in front of our face on the ground. And just inhale the right arm high to the sky. And if you want to make this a little deeper, you can take that left hand around the right ankle and use that to deepen the twist. Then releasing that down, coming back through center, playing the right hand down on the ground beneath your face. And then inhaling that left arm high to the sky. And once again, if you wanna take that deeper, you can take that right hand around the left ankle or shin. And and then releasing that down, coming back through center, just taking a little forward fold here, releasing through the neck. Now we're gonna to pivot to the right. We're gonna bring our hands inside that right foot, lowering the left knee down to the ground. So we're in a lizard pose here. And you can stay here if you wanna take this a little deeper, you can come down onto your elbows. Maybe try rocking onto the outer edge of that front foot. And from here, coming back onto your hands. And then just bring that right hand outside the right foot. Then we're just gonna heel toe that foot across so it's behind, the, the, the right foot is behind the left hand. 
bring that right knee down to the ground behind the right hand. So we're coming into pigeon pose here. Tuck your back toes under and just shift that left knee back a little bit just to give you a little more space. And then you can stay here or you can come down to your elbows. Or if you're feeling really open, you can make your way all the way down into sleeping pigeon. Walking your hands out in front of you, bringing your forehead down to the ground. And if you have a lot of space underneath that right hip, that right glute, I recommend just filling that hole with a pillow or a block, just something to give you a little bit of support between you and the ground. Walking your hands back in underneath your shoulders, tucking those left toes under, lifting that back leg off the ground, and then just stepping that right leg back into downward facing dog. You can inhale the left leg up and back, and exhale, step it between the hands. Once again, we're gonna pivot so that we're in our wide legged forward fold here. And this time we're just gonna take that forward fold to bring the head down towards the ground, we're gonna walk our hands between our legs and just using the ground as a way to gently pull that head down towards the ground. And if this doesn't work for you, you can always take your hands around your ankles, bending through your elbows. That might give you a little bit more leverage. And releasing those hands, pivoting towards that left, um, Foot, so that left foot is facing forward and lowering that right knee down towards the ground. Bring your hands inside that left foot so you're in lizard pose again here. You might notice this side feels a little different so just honoring your body and what it needs right now. Maybe you'll come down onto your elbows if that's available. Maybe you'll try rocking onto the outer edge of that left foot. Then coming back up onto your hands, bring that left hand and the outside of that left foot. Then just heel toeing that foot across so the left foot is behind the right wrist. Then bringing that left knee down towards the left hand. Tucking those back toes under, lifting the back knee off the ground and just shifting that leg back just a little bit. Same here with your pigeon. Just see what your body needs. Maybe you need to stay here on your hands or maybe you can come down onto your elbows. Each side is usually quite different and it might need different things. Once again, if you have a lot of space between that left hip and the ground, just using a block or a pillow or something to provide a little bit more support. your way back onto your hands, bring them underneath your shoulders, tuck those back toes under to lift the back leg off the ground and sweep that left leg back into downward facing dog. This is our last down dog here so just take any movement that your body needs. And then when you're ready just coming through to a seat we're going to go into cow face pose here. So we're going to bring that right knee out in front of us so it's coming through this through the center of our body so to stack that left knee on top of the right knee and your feet here we just want them to be in the same plane so they can be back closer to your body or you can have them out further away from you just making sure that they're in line um, whatever you choose and this can already be quite intense here so you can stay here if you have a little bit of space you can always walk your hands forward and fold over your knees Just walking your hands back in. We're going to stamp that left foot down into the ground. Plant that left hand down behind our left hip. Inhale the right arm high to the sky. Then exhale, twist, turning to the left, hooking that 
right elbow outside the left knee. And then just walking your hands over towards the right. Coming up into standing, walking your hands back around behind you and then magically appearing in cow face pose on the other side. So your right knee is on top this time, left knee is underneath you. Once again, trying to line up those feet on either side of your knees. And then if you want to take a little forward fold here, you can. Make your way back up to center, grounding down to the sole of that right foot, putting the, uh, bringing the right hand outside the right hip. Inhale, the left arm high to the sky, then exhale, twisting to the right, hooking that left elbow outside the right thigh. And gently releasing that, coming back through center. Uncrossing those legs and making your way down onto your back. Squeezing those knees into your chest and then taking the outer edges of your feet into your hands for happy baby here, drawing those knees in towards the ground, towards your armpits. Once again, hugging those knees in towards your chest, bringing your forehead towards your knees, squeezing everything in, taking one deep breath in, and then exhale, releasing down into Javasana here, letting your hands roll out to the sides, letting your feet splay out to the sides, finding a place of comfort and stillness here. And just know that I'll call you out when it's time. Just letting your breath settle, releasing any control that you had on it. becoming aware of your breath. Maybe bringing some slight movement to your fingers and your toes. Circling your ankles and your wrists. Bring your soles and your feet into the ground, bending through your knees. Keeping your eyes closed, just letting your knees fall over to one side and rolling onto that side. Maybe using your arm as a pillow. And gently pushing your way up into a seat. Keeping your eyes closed, letting your hands rest on your thighs. 
and close with one really deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, releasing it through the mouth. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. I honor the space inside you in which the entire universe dwells. It is a place of peace and love and truth and happiness. When you're in that place in you and I'm in that place in me, we are one. 